This week we celebrate St. Francis of Assisi, <coughs> this guy, whom we often see with animals. Have you seen pictures of St. Francis with various animals, with squirrels or with a wolf or with a deer? Those images of St. Francis with a deer bring a serious question to mind. Mm -hmm. And my serious question is this. If I have a deer with no eyes, what do I have? What do I have if I have a deer with no eyes? I have a no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, we'll give credit where credit is due. Jerry pulled me aside after Mass and he said, Father, what do you have if you have a deer who only has one good eye? Hmm, what, do you have? what do you have if you have a deer who has only one good eye? You have a good eye deer. <laughs> Did you know that comedians actually workshop their material? They go to comedy clubs and they tell their jokes to see how funny or not they are. Follow me? Because sometimes you think that something is good and it turns out not being so good. Or sometimes there's something that you don't think is so good and it turns out being good. And that's what today's scriptures are all about. People who seem good, but they turn out not being good. And other people who seem not to be good and they turn out being good. Did you follow that in today's scriptures? People can be fickle. They can be good one day, one moment, and bad the next. Bad one day or one moment, and good the next. It's simply part of human nature. We find ourselves always turning toward God or turning away from God and others through our words and our actions. Any of us old enough to remember the 1970s? Not so much, Ty? Si. Deacon Stephen? Mm -hmm. Father Brad? 1970s? No. <laughs> In the 1970s, there was a song, Turn Around. Do you remember that song? Yeah. Turn Around, Bright Eyes. Who heard that song? <laughs> Life is all about turning around. For our ancient ancestors, to sin was to turn our back on God and or on others. And when the light bulb goes off through repentance, through metanoia, they call it, we turn around again. Turn around. In today's first reading, Ezekiel warns us that if we turn toward God, we'll have life, we'll live. But if we turn away from God, what's going to happen? Ezekiel says, we will die. Turn away from God and you die. Ezekiel says, turn toward God and live. Karl Rahner, perhaps the greatest Catholic theologian of the 20th century, Father Karl Rahner called it the fundamental stance. In what direction are you facing? Are you facing in the direction of God? Or do your words and actions suggest that maybe you're off track? Are you on that path that leads to life, as we heard in today's responsorial song? Or are you maybe taking a detour? Because if so, it's probably time to turn around and get back on track. Amen. Today's gospel tells us the story of two sons. Did you follow that gospel? One of them talked the talk, flapped his lips. Yes, Father, I'll go work in the vineyard. Did he go? The other one said, no, Father, I won't go to the vineyard. Did he go? He did. Jesus asks, which of the two did his father's will? Because after all, it didn't come down to what they said. I will. I won't. It wasn't about that. It was who actually did it. It's not about talking the talk. It's about walking the walk. But the beautiful thing about that story is in, in that story, both sons turned did you notice that? One said, yes, I will. And then he did. The other said, I will not. But then he did. 
These stories invite us to think about how it is that we too are turning around. And if we're facing the wrong direction, what is it time to do? Turn around. Sisters and brothers, I love that story of the two sons because the one who actually went to the vineyard, the one who walked the walk, was the one who, in St. Paul's words, in today's second reading, was the one who had the same mind and the same heart as Jesus. Did you hear that in the second reading? Paul's letter to the Philippians? We need to have the same heart and the same mind as Jesus. Have you seen those bracelets before that say WWJD? What does that stand for? What would Jesus do? In this situation, with this person, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus say? That's what we're called to do, to have the same heart and the same mind as Jesus. How's that for a challenge? Sisters and brothers, we need to be careful because in the same way that jokes, you can't tell if it's a good joke or a bad joke, a bad joke could be good, good could be bad. Same with people, right? We have to look at more than just their words. It's easy to flap our lips. Oh, of course, Father Jamie, I love everyone. It's more difficult actually walk the walk this week let's find ourselves reflecting on how it is that perhaps we turned our back on god and or on others at different points how it is that we need to turn around and how it is that we can have the same heart and mind as jesus always asking ourselves wwjd what would jesus do